I'm sure you've all heard the expression before, from every adversity comes seeds of equal and greater opportunity. And so when Chris asked me to do this, uh, this talk today, he said allocate about 15 to 20 minutes. But the topic I've chosen is likely to take uh, endless hours to digest. So although I'm going to try and cut it short, if anyone at any stage feels that I've missed a bit out or you don't quite understand something, just interrupt and I'll certainly clarify that or ask questions at the end. I've been self-employed for the last 26 years and I've often uh, been sitting where you are now and usually listening to someone who I would say gives the, the, the three basic things of an introduction which is basically I'm a wonderful successful person, this is what made me successful uh, and this is what you need to do to make you a success. Now if that were true how many of you around here have listened to that and are all millionaires today? I'm guessing it didn't happen. And the reason why I don't think it happens is because if you take any successful entrepreneurial person, there'll be a history of catalogues of disasters behind the scenes, the things that didn't go to plan. Every one of us who's ever tried doing something in business will probably have experimented with a number of things that didn't work before you hit on the one model that is working. And that's largely what I'm going to talk to you about today.